update. Am I the a-hole for ghosting a woman who got pregnant by another guy while just starting to date me? Original post. I, 41 male, was seeing a woman, 32 female. We went out on five or six dates, then come to find out she had been sleeping with a different guy and got pregnant. And then when I found out, I was the bad guy for abandoning her because she was pregnant. I explained her pregnancy was not the issue. It was the issue of us talking for about a month before she finally had time for a proper date. And over the next three months, we managed to go out to five or six times. But she was sleeping with this guy which she claims was just purely physical and there was no feelings there. And she thought since I was already a dad with custody of my kids and a good job, I could raise this one as my own. Now she's attacking me on social media, claiming I'm abandoning her and the baby and that I'm an a-hole for it. I've requested a DNA test, which I know will come back as not mine, considering we haven't ever been intimate, and she's trying to fight it. Now for the top comments before reading the update. Not the a-hole. Run. I have no contact with her. She tried to get child support and that's when I requested a DNA test. She's been trying to fight the DNA test, but since I requested it, she gets zero money till she can prove it's mine. Lucky for me, I got a good caseworker who won't just give her child support until she proves I'm the father, which won't happen. What a horrible situation for you to be in. I hope it gets resolved quickly. What if she was already pregnant and just wanted someone that could support her and pretend he's the father? This was my take. She just used him to get a guy to pay child support because she knows the real father won't slash can't pay. Or there are so many potential father candidates, she doesn't know who is the real father and doesn't want to have to go through the process of finding out through the courts and thought she could lock down OP. I'd honestly sick a lawyer on her. Maybe a strongly worded cease and desist will give her pause. If not, at least you have started a paper trail of her insanity escalates. Not the a-hole. I thought about a lawyer, but the last time I talked to the child support caseworker, she had till the end of February to accept DNA test or the case was closed. Not about the DNA test, about a defamation. This. OP needs to screenshot everything she's put in social media. This can really bite him in a behind down the line. I have all screenshots and text messages that she sends. Glad you do, but you really need to get a lawyer to deal with the defamation. Getting a rep as a deadbeat will follow you professionally and socially. Don't assume because you've proven to not be the dad or she drops it that it won't be used against you. You need a decisive action, like a judgment or something else. I agree. After reading the comments, that's my next steps. I hate the excuse that it was only physical. Like, of course it was. It was It's not like I'm upset that you played chess with a dude or that you watched The Notebook together. People nowadays, especially women who have the ability to be sexually active, any decently attractive woman can have sex extremely easily, as opposed to a decent looking man. They downplay the act because they want to have their cake and eat it too. They do it because there is little sexual discipline in society and because they can. They're not thinking of repercussions. Even if you're just dating someone, there's a point where you know it would be messed up if you were to sleep with somebody else. People do it while falling on the excuse that they're not official yet, as if it really changes things when feelings are involved. It's a principal thing. Now for the update. Firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone that commented and helped to direct me on a few paths. I do have an update since I posted this morning. This morning, I contacted a lawyer and told him everything, as well as sent overall screenshots and text messages. After contacting my lawyer, he contacted Child Support Office, which after about a 20-minute run around, he was able to get a case file. He set the hearing with the judge to order said paternity, and after getting the court date to hear said case, he contacted her as a courtesy to let her know that I had retained a lawyer, and that a court case had been set, and some paperwork was being mailed to her address. That was around 10.45 a.m. At 11.15 a.m., my lawyer received a call from child support office that she had changed her story and that she said I wasn't a father and made the excuse that she messed up and gave the name of the Bayou dad which we were not given. My lawyer then called her back. At all posts slandering me have been taken down and a new post has been put up with her claiming chemical imbalance in her body that had her in a fit of rage and was lashing out on someone she shouldn't have. She stated that while she wishes I was the father that I am not and could not be because we never got intimate. I received a call from my lawyer around 11.30 and was made aware of the post around the same time. Under my lawyer's advice, for now I will not be posting the screenshots or text messages, but at some point I will, because the crazy needs to be seen. Again, thank you to everyone who posted on the original post. Sue her for the lawyer costs. Even if it's just sending her a bill for it, she is more likely not to come back. 
she needs to pay your legal fees and costs too. I posted in the original that getting a lawyer and not going to trial is the best case scenario. That hasn't changed. OP needs to take the win and pay the lawyer a couple hundred to couple grand for a couple phone calls and a letter or two. I've paid between $200 and $500 for this, but high cost of living area, I could see it being too grand. Trying to collect is harder than people realize, especially if they have no assets and a kid. So long as the posts come down, OP needs to just move on. Suing would be very inadvisable, and turning clear victory into a costly draw or expensive loss. But if OP wants to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, that'd be the recommended way of doing it. To be clear, didn't happen in 30 minutes and times are not exact. Some people try until court is established. She knew she couldn't lie to a judge and get away with it. She also knew when found guilty, she would be responsible for all attorney and court costs. Plus, if she lied in court, she could face jail time. Sometimes just one phone call from attorneys can make things go away. People get away with lying to a judge all the time. Luckily, you had the threat of a paternity test to back you up. Crazy people like this make me laugh. They think that lying and crying in social media will magically make things go their way. The second Opie got the courts involved with a DNA test, she backed down. Honestly, what did she expect to happen? Opie to step up and pay instead of fight? Guess she went looking in the wrong neighborhood for a sugar daddy. Nothing happens this fast. Within three hours of you calling a lawyer, a government agency contacted the mother and she ended up changing her story? Get the F out of here with this bullshit ass fairy tale. I didn't say a government agency contacted her. I said my lawyer contacted her to tell her about court and papers being served her as a courtesy. She contacted said government agency to change her story, which contacted my attorney that child support against me was being dropped and was going after another gentleman. Said she acknowledged the denial of paternity that I had signed. Just think what it was like before DNA tests. Back in the day, women got into more trouble for having kids out of wedlock. So at least the unmarried young ladies often had their babies in hiding and gave them up for adoption. Trying to falsely accuse somebody would often misfire on them and give them a scarlet letter. Next story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to abort my child? I, female 32, have three boys and currently pregnant. All children share the same dad, male 37. He had a two-year-long affair to a 22 female whose now his current fiancé will call Amy. We got divorced and he left everything to me so he'd have no contact or responsibility over our children. Amy was furious. However, after the divorce, I found out that I was pregnant. I told him and he said it was my issue, not his, and he was high please. To which I kept the pregnancy but he didn't tell Amy. I found out she was pregnant with a girl, to which my ex-father-in-law said she'd be the fifth grandchild at her baby shower as they knew about my baby. And from what I was told, she lost her mind. From that day, she had been stalking my social media and found out I too was having a girl. She contacted me to demand I terminate my pregnancy. As it wasn't fair, I gave my ex his first daughter as well as sons. I blocked and screenshotted the messages. The following day, my ex-in-laws come to see the kids. We had a good relationship up until this point and said that I should have an abortion as I've got my hands full with my boys. So I questioned them if it had anything to do with their son's new partner, to which my ex-mother-in-law said no. However, my ex-father-in-law told her not to lie and he had no part to play in this. Apparently, she had been kicking up a fuss from the minute she knew both me and herself were pregnant with girls and that I'd be giving birth first, as if it was some sort of competition. I told them she has the issue, not me, and probably a mental health issue or two. My ex-father-in-law laughed, and my ex-mother-in-law screamed at me and left. Ex-mother-in-law told Amy what I had said and plastered it all over social media. Many found it hilarious and agreed she was in wrong. However, some disagreed and said I should terminate my child and have been sent constant messages from her and her family slash friends etc which I've blocked but they keep making fake accounts. Am I really the a-hole? I know I'm not, but I just want to gather people's thoughts slash opinions. Throw away due to her being a psychopath and knowing all my social media. Now for the top comments. What am I even reading? Be petty AF and tell Amy you will always be first. First wife, first to have children, first to have a daughter, and first to drop the dead weight. The only thing she has accomplished first is making a vacancy for a mistress. I laughed way harder than I should have at that. Who in the world has the right to tell you to abort your child, your first daughter? Get away from these banjo pickers. They are surely mentally deficient. I'm sorry for your children to have such whacked out paternal relatives. Amy's too young to realize that history repeats itself. Karma will see her soon. 
funny thing is, he's already cheated on her three times without her realizing. How has she not realized it though? Had nobody told her? She's as thick as two planks, and she's obsessed with my life, so she neglects and ignores her own. How do you know he's cheated on her? Through either social media with mutual friends or father-in-law. You're mature enough to know that you don't need to cater to a 22-year-old's immature tantrums, right? She can go eat rocks. Have your baby if that is what you want and you can support her. I would limit contact with the ex-mother-in-law as well. Block, block, block all around and be happy. Not a hole. Right? Your first sentence hit the nail right on the head. Why is OP seriously asking if she's wrong for not aborting her child? Because her ex's 22-year-old affair partner told her to? Good grief. Not the a-hole. Block all those a-holes who think they can have a say in this ridiculous matter. It's your baby. It's your decision. It's shocking that even ex-mother-in-law is siding with the immature 22-year-old. If it was around the same due date, Amy would have made a tantrum at a hospital to have the baby delivered first. Yes, I'm sure she would, because Amy is a child who thinks she's competing with a former wife. Not only is the ex-husband a cheating a-hole, but a predator. The wife is well rid of him. Last story. Am I the a-hole for divorcing my husband? I've been married for more than two decades to my husband. In all of the time we have been together, he only held a job for the first nine years. Wasn't successful in finding work after that. Because he was unemployed, he was able to take care of his dad and another relative while they were dying. One got sick right after the other passed. I took care of our kid, paid all the bills and all child-related expenses. I've also done the majority of the housework, the entirety of our marriage. I feel like I have two kids, not a partner. Once both had passed away, my unemployed husband inherited a decent estate and now his income is more than I earn working. We are drowning in debt because my salary was not enough to sustain us. Once the estates were settled, he put everything in a different bank and did not include me in any of it. He set up a trust for our one child, and I'm only aware of that because law dictates due to them being a minor. I had to demand a copy of our income taxes. He didn't want me to have them. That's how I discovered his inheritance income is more than I make. He refuses to help with the bills. He said all of the debt is my fault, and I need to pay it off alone. While unemployed, he contributed nothing for the bills or child-related expenses. Over the last five years, our relationship has become untenable. The resentment I feel isn't going to resolve. I picked up his second job for a few years and wasn't able to do the housework. He didn't step up, and now the house looks like a hoarder lives here. I'm trying to catch up while working 50 hours a week. It's slow going. I know he hasn't treated mental illness and is probably a hoarder. He has no family other than myself and our child. I've contacted a lawyer and I'm ready to start proceedings. However, I feel this enormous guilt for wanting a divorce. I know it's not rational because he won't get any help. But it's there and I'm having trouble working up the courage to kick him out. I'm hoping for an amicable split, so he can still participate in holiday stuff with my family and isn't alone. I love him, but cannot live like this anymore. If you divorce, you may be able to force him to settle his half of your marital debts. That's reason enough to offload this parasite. Not the a-hole. Be free. He should absolutely be on the line for half of those marital debts. OP physically and financially took care of both her husband and his child, and in doing that, allowed him to care for the family members who left the inheritance. I hope a judge would see how incredibly unfair this all is, and not allow the husband to just walk away with zero liability. Debt occurred while being married is considered marital debt, which will be split evenly. I'm not sure what your state law state about inheritance, but if it's like many states, it is the same as winning the lottery. She's entitled to half. If he hides it during the divorce, the judge can award her all of the money if they see fit, for not disclosing it because he gained the money while married. Not the a-hole. Sounds like he hasn't been pulling his fair share. Like you said, it's supposed to be a partnership. You could give him an ultimatum first, like either you start chipping in or I'm leaving you, but definitely not the a-hole. Not trying to be offensive, but I'm dealing with a similar situation with my brother and sister-in-law. My brother is a flake and has been living off of my sister-in-law's income for a very long time. Anyway, at the issue is that you have enabled him and he's going to fight like hell to not take responsibility for himself. I would definitely contact the lawyer ASAP. Hold on to any documents you have. Write emails to him as often as possible so you can have written responses. And be prepared to dig on your heels. You've already felt sore enough for him. He needs to grow the heck up. Yeah, kick your brother and kick out your sister-in-law for gouging your food income. Give them a legit eviction notice for 30 days. Not the a-hole. I would divorce him just to offload half of the marital debt. 
If you own a house, force him to buy your half of the equity and try for alimony on top of child support. Take your kid and leave him in his hoarder home. This marriage has been doomed since he lost his job. If he inherited such a sizable estate from his dad and the relatives he cared for, it means those relatives were wealthy enough to pay him for that care so that he could help support his family. He and they chose not to do that. So it was always his plan to work you to death or until you bailed. He is a sick, selfish sob.